begged by popular demand. Um, I'm gonna take it as a huge compliment that you guys wanted me to make your video. Um, even if it was maybe just so that you could get out of doing work for a day. Anyway, so 8-2, the reciprocal function family. So our objectives are to answer the question, what is the general form of a reciprocal function and how to, uh, or how translations affect them? So we're going to graph reciprocal functions and then graph translations of those functions. Okay, so vocabulary. Functions that model inverses have the form f of x equals a divided by x and belong to the family whose parent is the reciprocal function. So 1 over x is just our reciprocal function. Each part of the graph of a reciprocal function is a branch. We have two branches, two reciprocal functions. Okay, so here's our general form. y equals a divided by x minus h plus k, where h cannot equal x. Why is that, do you ask? Well, because if we had the same number subtracted, we would get 0. We don't like 0 in the denominator. Bad things happen. And if you may have guessed, like, A looks kind of familiar, that's going to be our stretch compression reflection. H looks pretty familiar, that's going to be our um, translation right and left. And K also looks familiar, that's translation up and down. Um, hey, look, I already said that. Alright, so what is the graph of y equals 8 divided by x, where x cannot equal 0? Identify the x and y intercepts and the asymptotes of the graph. Also, state the domain and the range. So, in order to graph these, we need to make a table of values, both positive values and negative values. So just throw out some numbers for x, make some bigger numbers, some smaller numbers, things that are going to be like... Um, have common multiples of 8 are going to be good, like 2, 4, 8, positive, negative, um, 0. We already said we can't do. We could do 1, 8 divided by 1, um, those kinds of things. Okay, and then we're going to graph those points. So let me just go ahead and pull up a little graph here. All right, so y equals 8 divided by x. So we're just going to pick some values for x and plug them in. Uh, so I'm going to do negative 8, negative 4, negative 2, negative 1. I can't do 0, so I'm just going to do that to remind myself. 1, 2, 4, and 8. So if we plug in those numbers for 8, 8 divided by negative 8 is negative 1. Um, negative 8 divided by, or 8 divided by negative 4 is negative 2, negative 4, negative 8. And then we have 8 four, two, and one. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and try to make some straight lines. No promises. Um, two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Oops, that's four. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and plot these points. So negative 8, negative 1, negative 4, negative 2, there you go, negative 2, negative 4, negative 1, negative 8, and then 1, 8, 4, 2, oops, 2, 4, it's right there, let me erase that one. 4, 2, and 8, that's an 8, 8, 1. So if you notice, these are going to constantly approach 0, both the x and the y, like that, but never actually touch 0. You make these a little nicer. There you go. So this way, also this way. So getting closer and closer to 0, um, but never actually touching zero. So our asymptotes are lines that we get close to, but we never touch. Uh -huh. Hopefully you remember that. So we have an asymptote here. We also have an asymptote here. So our asymptotes are x equals zero and y equals zero. So our branches are constantly approaching those points, but never actually going to touch them. They'll get closer and closer and closer. So if you picked a big number like, I don't know, 56. 8 divided by 56 is 1 7th. You can reduce it. It's still um, positive. 
All right. And that's just all that stuff. So the domain and the range are all real numbers except x equals 0 and y equals 0 because all other numbers are included. All right. <clears throat> so let's compare the graphs of y equals 1 over x and y equals a over x. All right. So if we put uh, 6 as our numerator, 6 over x, is that going to be a stretch, a compression, a reflection, a translation? What do you think? Well, A has always been the stretch, compression, reflection. Um, so go ahead and put those in your calculator, y equals 1 over x and y1, and y equals 6 over x and y2, and see what happens. Um, that should be a stretch. They should get um, a little more shallow. Uh, 0.25. Well, that's less than 1, so that's going to be a shrink or a compression is what we said before. And negative 6. Well, that's going to be a reflection of the first one. So it'll be a stretch and a reflection. Alright, so here's our families of reciprocal functions. So you've seen this before um, on a previous slide. This is just all together to show you stretch, shrink, reflection, all the same as everything we've done before along with the H and the K. So there's all of them all together. Alright, so let's graph a translation. What's the graph of y equals 1 divided by x plus 1 minus 2? Identify the domain and the range. Well, first we have to figure out what was our parent function. Well, our parent function has just the y equals a divided by x. What is our a value? 1. So our parent function is y equals 1 over x. So we need to have our parent function, and we need to compare that to... Um, that x plus 1 minus 2. So the plus 1 is going to move it which direction? Right or left? It's going to move it left, and the minus 2 is going to move it down. Alright, so let's start by drawing our asymptotes. And then, oops. So let me just do a quick sketch here. So if it moves it left 1, and down 2, our new asymptotes are going to be here. There we go. At x equals negative 1. And y equals negative 2. So these are our new asymptotes. Now we just need to fill in those branches. So just pick some values. Um, so x, y. If x is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, 1 divided by 1 is 1, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So 0, negative 1 is a point. We know negative 1 can't be a point. So what about negative 1 half? So negative 1 half plus 1 is 1 half, and 1 divided by 1 half is 2, and 2 minus 2 is 0. So you can tell this is going to be approaching 0. Um, like this, well not approaching 0, approaching our asymptote negative 1. Okay, and then the other way we have, let's put in negative 2. Negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1, and 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1, minus 2 is negative 3. So we have negative 2, negative 3. It's going to make this same shape over on this side. So it's the same thing except translated left and down. Um, oh, and there we go. There you have it. So there's your reciprocal uh, functions and their transformations. And hope you have a great night. See you later.